I guess we are here. No disrespect to nobody. Some of y'all is bugged out. Y'all can love, y'all can love whatever politician y'all want, whether that's Trump, Kamala, whoever. Man, get the love in your kids and your family. Stop, like you, y'all trying to deflect. Y'all, we all trying to deflect. There's so much shit going on out here, and every four years y'all get wrapped up. Over, like I don't even get this shit. It is not for fake that ain't nobody was talking about Kamala or fucking with her. Like, bro, right now, to a lot of you motherfuckers, this whole Kamala love and narrative ain't no more than three months old. And she been around a vice president, black woman, whatever y'all want to call her for a very long time. I'm going to pick on plots because I think he's a moron. The general public doesn't understand civics. That's why he'll stay right in the pocket of how he feels about Trump and how he, why we should support from an emotional angle. No policy. He doesn't know the fact that. Oh, he just doesn't want to acknowledge it. When she was in California, over 1,500 inmates in California for cannabis possession kept them in jail, even though it was lawful then in your state at the time because your state needed the free prison slave labor. And I know Now, I want to tell people something. It's not about whether you want to believe him or not with that with Kamala. Is he the first person to say that about Kamala? No. But guess what? Is that like a... No. Black or white. How do district... How do they get their jobs? Right? The people got to want you to be the district attorney. The people might want you, the people in power, the people with money, white or black, might not understand, like, the real ins and outs. They ain't looking in the mud. They just understand crime and punishment. Some people just understand crime and punishment. What I mean by that is, like, it could be two dudes in the hood and this one dude could be robbing everybody and terrorizing the hood and he just pick on this dude and this dude kill him. That dude still can get life in jail. But if he really had everybody from the neighborhood on the jury, they might be like, he's not a bad guy. We don't feel threatened by him. That's not. But some people just understand, okay, crime, punishment. The criminal justice system is a business. I don't want, I hate to say that. But it is a business in the same way that slavery was a business. So for Kamala to do that would be normal. That's what district attorneys do. You can watch a hundred documentaries all over the United States. In every state, they don't find out somebody innocent and what the district attorney do. Whether they in Alabama, whether they in New York, California, Idaho, take what the they take. Oh, I don't believe. Not keep them in jail. We wouldn't even need to have the innocence project and all this if the, if everything was just fair like that. But like Sun said. You might be so caught up on white or black that you can't listen to certain sides. Whatever side you feel like go with, hold up. So a lot of times when people talking to you about politics, about policies, you don't know nothing about that. You just like, oh, but this person said this and these people over here, bro, what the fuck that got to do with what we talking about? Why you bringing up what other humans is doing? Why you bringing up what people are saying? What is this person who you are representing and defending's track record? Let this man speak. I'm a pick on plots because I think he's a moron. The general public doesn't understand civics. That's why he'll stay right in the pocket of how he feels about Trump and how he, why we should support from an emotional angle. No policy. He doesn't know the fact that. Oh, he just doesn't want to acknowledge it. When she was in California, over 1,500 inmates in California for cannabis possession kept them in jail, even though it was lawful then in your state at the time, because your state needed the free prison slave labor. And I know I heard Charlemagne say it wasn't true and it was a narrative. It is true. The problem is the people like me and the others that you guys have interviewed know what we're talking about. And our memory isn't like a goldfish. It isn't seven seconds. At the debate, Kamala Harris said, 
Me and Waltz are gun owners. We're not trying to take nobody's guns. And then two days later, she put a banned assault weapons fire, uh, post up on her social media. Then if you go back far or further than that, you have some photos or videos circulating on the internet right now where her saying, we're not saying that you can't keep a gun. It was her and Gavin Newsom some years ago. We're not saying that you can't keep a firearm. But that doesn't mean we're not going to march in your home and see if you're not handling those weapons and firearms properly. That's a violation of the Fourth Amendment. You're a person that is going for the job of the presidency. That job has three lanes to it. Command the armed forces, secure the borders, uphold the Constitution. The general public doesn't know that that's the job of the president. So if the, the general public doesn't know that that's the job of the president, she can just say... I've always said to people like, yo, because some people are like, oh, and then you will hear people like, this is, so, you know how sometimes you hear people say, like, hey, man, wh whatever going on with the tr president, how this trickling down to you, how it's really affecting you, and it is a little more than what homie is saying, right, but effectively, you have local people that you could vote for and go crazy about, and you might actually get more from your vote right there. In your city or in your state or in your town, then you will actually get for caring about this. But what happens when this come? They start trying to rile everybody up. And I ain't even see, I, I, I don't even know what happened with Plaz and Kamala or if Plaz came out at one of the rallies or if he, like, but we seen the joint with. Megan the Stallion. Twerking. Yo. These the same people that actually don't even like the culture. Hip hop culture, street culture, her being the district, of, the district attorney is the direct enemy of the culture. Every time, you can't go to jail without one of them. The police put the investigation together. The district attorney is the one start to set everything. Hey, this right here, baby, 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 baby. but now. Just when you need the votes. The clout. This political clout. Now you tap in there. With everything that you might talk trash about. Or claim to despise. So now, Trump is pulling out rappers and all, and guess what? The same people who watched Kamala do it, saying something about Trump. But I guess Kamala could do it, wait, cause she black? I, cause, cause she black? Yo, that saying that your black people can't be racist is crazy. That's the type saying that set black people back. Because as a human, right? A black human. Say you encounter somebody white that's doing something racist to you. If they say, but I'm not racist, does that matter? Does it matter? Does it make you not recognize whether or not they was being racist to you? You still recognize it. So <laughs> why would you not think that a white person might recognize, oh, black people can't be racist, but you out here moving like a racist. Right? Two people the same, doing the same things, but you wild on one. You don't like one for doing the same thing that the other do because the other is the same color as you. That's the fucking definition of racism. Racism, if racism got the word power in it right now, it's only new. 
Power got its own definition. When your mother and father had the power over you when you was younger and treated you like dog shit, was that racism? Why? Wow, because they same color as you? Nah, they just had the power over you, right? For whatever reason, they was in the position. I don't think you can necessarily wrap that around in racism. Because a lot of the motherfuckers that's out there marching, the Charlottesville folks and stuff we talk about, they ain't got no power. They got prison gangs like we got prison gangs. The feds come arrest them and lock them up and wild on them. The same way they do us. Now, in my new life, I done abandoned you, motherfucker. I did my time. I went up in maximum security prison as a teenager and left when I was 30. I get it. I did my time. I agree that the FBI, hey, we got to be on some shit. Hey, man, look, some of these groups, like they, you know, they kind of like, yeah, they like, they might be like terrorist groups, some of these supremacist groups, right? But say the FBI say to me as a human, like, I, right, what if we start to arrest some other people that's, that we know plan on killing black people at a time? We kind of know they're going to do it. I'd be like, who? They'd be like, Yo, what if we start doing that to the Bloods and the Crips and stuff? I, how? But think about it. I could be like, oh, hell no, y'all wildin'. But... Who do I think going to kill the most black people in the next year? Street gangs in black communities or the guys marching in Charlottesville? I know what some of y'all going to say, but if you had to put money on it right now, if you had to bet, and you could comment wherever you see this video clip or anything, I bet you, and then next year, if you, hey, we have, let's bet each other. Who going to have more bodies? White supremacists or black street gangs? Who going to kill? You said black street gangs make it? Well, guess me and Mekit can't bet on it. <laughs> Anybody else want to bet? things and the celebrities can mirror these feel-good tactics collard greens and matub plies y'all just don't want to get behind a black woman that's really i see what here you just don't want to give it that's that step and fetch it tap dance corny shit but if you don't know anything about he says step and fetch it like and that was a term people would use for people that they felt like was uncle tom and were white people right but i feel like i don't like i said i didn't see all the plies shit but a lot of times when you see it, it start to fit. And that's with any politician. You know how dope it would be if you're like, yo, I kind of don't understand. I'm going to need you to really break some things down to me. Come with questions. I don't think everybody that's a celebrity or got money or get up is dope. Like, our dopest people ain't the, the people with the most clout. If that was the case, we probably wouldn't even have so many trolls. If that was the case, things might make more sense out here, but they don't. Our most intelligent ain't, ain't winning at the top. It can't be. Because in the hoods that we come from, we know we frown upon intelligence. Nigga think he's smart. <laughs> Well, I think he know everything. Oh, why motherfucker want to study? Oh, now you you can get beat up for having the right answer if if a, if a particular person got the wrong one. Get attacked for that. So sometimes we just go along. Motherfuckers don't ask questions like like Obama, right? How like yo, bro? How many people know his like? How many people know the differences? Like, so think about it. A lot of people that's black rock with Obama only because he black. 
But if you ask them who did the most damage to them, who traumatized them, who they motherfucker look like Obama. Man, like sometimes this this should be like having us in a state of confusion. Backwards. Backwards. So when Trump bring out the rappers, I, I think that should look crazy too. But I'm gonna tell you some wild shit. It it feel different because look how they handle Trump. They be calling Trump a a, a criminal. He's convicted. He's this. Then he pawed him like, 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 I don't know why. I think they he got Kodak Black out of jail, right? I don't know why he did that, but he did. Trump never fronted. Yo, bro, hold on. He, he took it, he kept it real. Yo, bro, time. do we think right now, if you had to bet money on this, would Barack Obama have let, if it was up to him, would he have, would he have pardoned? Kodak Black.